Hey guys, welcome. In this episode, we will be discussing several techniques to help brighten your night in Pacific Drive. We will cover various items that you can either find and or make to help illuminate your way, as well as a few settings you can change in case it is still too dark later on in this episode. So to begin, in no particular order, is the road flare. You can find the road flare in several locations such as bags, dumpsters, and trunks of cars. It is, however, the only light source that cannot be crafted. The road flare, once lit, will last 1 minute and 15 seconds and cannot be extinguished. It can, however, be dropped and or thrown to distract several different types of anomalies. Your first craftable light option is a relightable flare. The relightable flare, unlike the road flare, can be extinguished and relit over and over again. It has a total lit duration of 3 minutes and 50 seconds. While it is on, it will put out a red, pinkish light which will illuminate a small area in front of you. An alternative flare option that can be crafted as well as found in the world is a flare gun. It can be used in a couple ways, one being up in the air which will briefly illuminate a decent sized area around you but will quickly fall back down to the ground. You can quickly pick up the flare and use it again like a road flare, but it will last about twice as long as the road flare, lasting 2 minutes and 5 seconds. It also has a craftable bigger sibling, the bio flare gun, which functions the same way as the flare gun but a different color and lasts over 5 minutes. Our next candidate is the crude flashlight. This light is the only light out of the list that puts out a white hue of light. It also lasts a bit longer than our previously mentioned options coming in at 11 minutes. It can also be toggled on and off like the previously mentioned relatable flare. Next up we have the bio flare. This flare, unlike all of our previously mentioned candidates, will be a bit more challenging to craft, not just only needing unstable anchors to unlock, but also requiring 7 swamp coral which can be difficult to come by, especially early game. It will last 3 times longer than a road flare at 3 minutes and 20 seconds, but like its smaller sibling, it cannot be extinguished once lit. Finally, our last handheld light option is the Bio Lantern. This item might make you squeamish to use as it takes a whopping 120 swamp coral, but tries to eagerly prove itself by putting out an astonishing amount of light and it will also make any goat envious lasting an incredible 38 minutes while switched on. There are also vehicle mounted options ranging from crude headlights all the way up to roof and rack mounted options, from which if I could only choose one, it would be the bio headlight, as once installed, it would have every spike puddle quivering since they will no longer be able to hide in the middle of the road. Now all of those objects are great on their own, but it is also understood that Pacific Drive is still insanely dark at night, so let's cover some of those settings. First, under the video tab, there is a standard brightness adjustment, but that will make everything in the game brighter, not just night. Next, under accessibility, towards the bottom, under weather, we have the brighter nights toggle, which will make just the night seem slightly brighter. Finally, if you are happy with all of the previously mentioned options and just don't want it to be dark for as long, you can go to gameplay and under difficulty there is a toggle to speed up the time at night. So, if this guide has helped you, please leave a like and subscribe to see guides and streams and all things gaming. If you'd like to continue to support this channel, you can find a link down in the description. I've been your host, Delphinus Kia, and I will see you on the other side.